It is a Saturday morning. We're all in our jammies, including me. And I'm going to go out and pluck my Christmas tree. But before we get started, um, if you're new here, hello, I am Jana. I love DIY. I love my kids. I love to show things about health and beauty. I would love to be virtual friends with you. So comment down below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. And also maybe tell me what your favorite thing about Christmas is. If you like my channel, subscribe. I'd love that too. <laughs> Uh, side note, if you have never sh tried the sand and fog candles at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ross, they are so good. Um, this one is called Winter Pine. This one is Cinnamon Noel. Seriously, they smell like super expensive candles and they are so cheap. I think this one was like five and then this one was like three. Let's get to blocking this tree. It is freezing cold out there, but good thing I have my pajama pants on because they will keep me very warm. Okay, so here are all the things that you need to do this and of course the Christmas tree. Um, so instead of using one of these to hook onto your hose, you can also just use a spray bottle, but the instructions um, mentioned that this might be easier just because it has more pressure. I will be sure to link this down below it was the cheapest one I could find. I also wonder if you could find it at Walmart or Lowe's. You might check online before you go into the store. And also one of these you can get at um, the dollar store. I think that's where I got that one. So. Okay, so first thing you want to do is spray your tree down because this will help the snow to adhere to your tree a little bit better. And then I actually moved to a spray bottle because the hose is just a little bit too much. Um, and then you're just going to sprinkle it and spray it on and it's pretty simple. So I'm kind of doing a thin layer everywhere else and then I'm just going to work my way up. The good thing about this stuff is it's not toxic at all. So. I had Talmadge help me and he actually thought it was really, really fun to hold it for me. He loves jobs like this. Okay, now that you have everything on pretty much where you want it, you're going to take your hand and just do the detail stuff kind of where you weren't able to get with your big strainer and it will kind of just make it look even more flocky. <laughs> and then the last thing you're going to do is spray the whole tree with water and it says that you want to use quite a bit of water so that um, it can really adhere and set up. Um, but also you don't want to use too much or else it won't be like fluffy like this. Alright you guys, this is how it turned out. I love it. I love that there's like some spots where it's more heavy with snow because I feel like that's what it would look like if it was actual snow in the wild. Um, I am so happy with how it turned out. It's crazy because I got this tree from the thrift store last year for like ten dollars and then the flocking stuff was like twenty dollars so this tree this is like a thirty dollar flocked tree okay so we just got in from flocking the tree and i love the way it turned out i think it is so cute um it does have to dry for like for about 24 hours you guys are gonna have to check back here next week because i'm gonna have a video on like diy christmas decorations and that's where you can see like the tree all decorated and stuff like that and we will see you guys next week bye